official. At this moment, the Escape from Tarkov economy is completely broken. At the time of this recording, you can sell one Bitcoin to Therapist for 826,000 rubles. And if you max out your Bitcoin farm, you could be making 2.5 to 3 million rubles passively per day. So, as everyone knows, people are going to these tech spawns to find graphics cards and Tetrises to be able to get Bitcoins to sell to Therapist. But have you boys ever thought about the stuff needed to create the graphics cards themselves? For example, circuit boards, CPU fans, and CPUs themselves have all shot up in price on the flea market as well. A CPU now costs 100,000 rubles each to buy on the flea market. A CPU fan, that's 50k, and a circuit board, 40k. And those items are so easy to come across that you could be easily making millions of rubles by doing a passive little run through the interchange map. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. There's a few locations that I always rat up when I'm going into the interchange map because I know that I could be making hundreds of thousands of rubles in a matter of seconds just by looting PCs and tech spawns. So join me as I show you how to break the talk of economy a little bit more. Firstly, if you're in the interchange mall and you don't mind a little bit of PvP, then going to the tech stores is a perfect way to find these hard to get items like graphics cards, CPUs, etc. You could do this run either starting from Ollie's side and working your way to Idea side, or the other way around depending on where you spawn. So our first spawn is just inside of the Ollie location, you're going to want to go in the front door of Ollie. Head up the stairs into the main Ollie area, and you'll see to your left hand side an opening that goes to the main shopping mall area. Go over into the left and you'll see a store straight ahead of you to your left hand side, Texco. We're going to go into Texco because that's our first tech store that we can loot. You're going to want to check everywhere, so these wooden crates at the front, the tumble dryer here, and you're going to want to check every shelf because you'll be able to find stuff like circuit boards, CPUs, and CPU fans all over the place. Also, Tetrises and graphics cards are quite common in these stores as well, so don't forget to pick them up for an easy 800 grand. From here you're going to want to look out to the front of the store and you'll see some escalators going upstairs. We're going to want to go up those escalators and then straight ahead of you once you're up there is another tech store called Tech Light. This is a very contested area because of the amount that can spawn here but you're going to want to check all over the place because again you can find a ton of cool tech items. Once you've finished looting tech light, go back down the stairs the way you came, and then once you head down the stairs, you're going to want to take a left. You're going in towards the centre of the store now, and straight ahead of you, you'll see a store called Rasmussen. This is our next tech location. You're going to want to go in, check all of the tables in the centre, as well as the shelves around the outside, as you can find good tech items. Not only just like graphics cards and all circuit boards, but you can find 1G phones and all that sort of stuff in here, as well as Tetrises as well. Make sure you check behind the desk at the very front of the store as well, as tech items can spawn on that too. From here you're going to want to go out the store and take a left and go down towards the Kibba store. You're going to want to keep running and go past the Kipper store, keeping the Kipper store to your right. And then straight ahead of you, you'll see a store called German. German is another tech location that you can loot. Inside German, you can find all of the same, as well as graphics cards, Tetrises, and military cables and stuff like that. So you're going to want to check the outside and check the podiums in the middle as well. Once you check this location, go out and take a right, and then down in this octagon area, straight ahead of you, to your left, you'll see a store, TTS. TTS is our final tech store location, and you can loot this to find a load of tech items. You'll see a bunch of wooden countertops here. Along all of these wooden countertops, good tech items like CPUs, CPU fans can spawn. 
but you're going to also want to check these metal shelves as you'll also be able to find graphics cards and tetrises on these metal shelves as well. Loot is really dependent on RNG, but for example in this one run, not picking up absolutely everything, I found a few circuit boards as well as a couple of CPU fans and a Tetris and two 1G phones which is not bad for a quick 5 minute run, but bear in mind these are contested areas so you're going to want to get here quickly. Computers are also vital for looting, you may not always find graphics cards as the spawn chance has been massively reduced, but you will find CPU, CPU fans, circuit boards etc in PCs quite frequently, and especially on the interchange map when PCs are in an absolute abundance, you'll be able to find quite a few of these in one run. We're starting our run here in Idea, we're at the very front left hand side, and you'll see just inside this entrance here, you'll see an office. If you go inside this office here, you'll see a few computers that you can loot, but also check this sort of countertop straight ahead of you, because there is a chance for tech items like graphics cards and CPUs to spawn on here too. But you'll notice under the desks in certain locations there are PCs that you can loot. Once you've finished looting the computers in this office area, come to the back where these piles of boxes are, as you can also find tech items sometimes in the place of this drill here. And also go into the back room and loot the shelving units because you can also find tech and military cables and all that sort of stuff on here as well. Once you go out of these offices, you're going to then want to head towards the center of the mall again. So you're going to want to come out back to the front of the idea area. Then you're going to want to take a left and head all the way down. And then once you're leaving the idea area itself, you're going to want to take a left. You'll see some red lighting and then you'll see a back corridor. You're going to want to go down that back corridor. You'll see some double doors and then a singular door just to the right of that that's always spawning open. And inside this area is a bunch more computers that you can loot. Again you're going to want to check under every desk just in case there is a computer. And then once you've looted all the computers in this main office area as well, you're going to want to see where the yellow couch is and just to the left of that yellow couch is a closed door. Make sure you check the computer inside of this room as well. Now you've finished looting this office, you're going to want to come out of the closed door and then you're going to find a box and behind the box the double doors that lead into the Goshen area. Go through and all the way to the other end past the cafe you'll see another set of double doors. Go through these double doors and then behind these cardboard boxes you're going to see another closed door. Open that door and this is another office filled with computers that you can loot. Another thing you can do is go into the side office as well and if the power is turned on you can always flip this little panel here and disable the alarms because let's all face it they're fucking annoying aren't they? And then once you're done here come out of the side room and go out of the open door to the left and then take a left continue following this corridor and it'll lead you out towards Texco where we started our little adventure in the interchange map. So you're going to run past a furniture store to our right and then you're going to want to go into the Ollie area. Straight ahead of you once you enter the Ollie area you'll see some information desks. Under each of these little eyes, as a little point of reference these little information icons, there are two computers in these small little areas here, they're always worth a check too. There's one also further back in the store. You're basically going to want to hunt all of these eye icons down. A 
And now we've made our way to the very far left end of the ollie area, you'll see some double doors that are open with an ollie sign between them. You're going to want to go through these double doors here and then immediately take a right through another set of double doors. There are a few back offices here that you'll be following around in a horseshoe shape which are also filled with computers. When you're following it around, bear in mind there is one door that is not accessible, but you're going to want to keep following it around because there's three offices in here in total in which you can loot. Once you've finished with the third and final office, you're going to want to come out of it and go a left and turn through these double doors here. Then take a left and you'll be out back into the ollie area. Then you're going to want to head all the way to the front of the store down to the front entrance. And before you go down the escalators to the actual front entrance itself, you'll see some more small offices inside of the ollie area. You're going to want to go inside of these doors and loot these offices because more computers are in this area. Once you've finished with this small little office area, come out of the other door and then straight ahead of you, there's another set of double doors. One of the doors spawns open and there are more offices back here too. Once you've finished with that set of offices, you'll also be able to go back into the ollie area and extract, especially if you came from the railway side and the idea side, you'll be able to go all the way to Emicom checkpoint and extract nice and easily. But you can also do this run in reverse and end at the idea side and you would have looted tons of PCs. A couple of things that I've learned from doing this run. One, I really should have brought a backpack, and two, just from looting computers we made 1.5 million rubles. Just from that there, all of those CPU fans, those few CPUs, and those circuit boards, 1.5 mil. Insane, right? And that is just by ratting around, and a lot of the time you won't see people in those back offices, so you'll be fine. Add the loot that we got from the tech stores just now, easily over 2 million, 3 million. Just from this one interchange run. Insane money can be made through looting tech now. And like I said earlier, it's not just graphics cards and tetrises that you're going to want to look out for. It's all of these items too. And this is just interchange. Of course there's computers over every other map as well. And you can also go reserve and find tons of different loot items. However, Interchange is a very, very good map. In fact, probably the best map for finding tech items like this. And whether you want to sell them and make a quick bit of cash, or keep all of these items and make some graphics cards in the hideout, you'll be making a large amount of profit. Working on your Bitcoin farm while doing these runs is the best way and most efficient way to make money. Forget about looting geared chads, this is the way to do it. No matter what, rats always win. And I hate that terminology, rats and chads, but it's what everyone understands. You need money to be able to run kits that you enjoy. How you get that money is up to you. But this is definitely, at the time of this recording and with the way the economy is, the most efficient way to make money inside of Escape from Tarkov point blank the best way. If you guys have any other maps that you like going to, to find tech items like this, then let me know down below in the comments, but Interchange is by far my favourite. Not because I love Interchange in general, but I do, it's also because it's just a really really good map, everything's condensed, there's tons of computers, there's several tech stores, and yeah sure you may be fighting off people when you're going through this map because everyone is looking for graphics cards. 
if you're doing the rat runs through the back alleys and looting all the computers, you'll be making millions so easily. And with that being said guys, let me know down below in the comments whether you enjoy this sort of strat, whether you think the economy needs to be fixed, or whether you have any different ways of making money. I want to hear it all. But thank you so much for watching guys, I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one, yeah? Let's, uh, let's ruin Tarkov's economy until they fix it. I love you. If any of you guys are interested in playing demanding games like Tarkov but are struggling with the performance, why not check out Shadow? Shadow is a cloud gaming subscription service that allows you to access a Windows desktop client with the top of the range hardware located at your nearest data center. Shadow is a service that I still use all the time. Anytime I'm out of the office and need to edit a video or record some footage, Shadow is perfect. They're a company that I really enjoy working with and they're ideal for anyone who travels a lot or just someone that can't afford a super high powered PC. Shadow's got many people covered as long as you've got a relatively decent internet connection. If you wanted to check Shadow out then there's a link below that you can go and do your research and find out more about their services. And if you do decide to subscribe to Shadow then you can use my code SAMOSH and you'll save yourself some money which is always worthwhile. I'd like to thank you once again for making it to this point in this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.